Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, get a handle on proper audio mapping. All right, if you've ever had to take something from one track or one channel and go to a different output, maybe map number one to number eight and maybe do a voiceover to seven and music to three and four, then you're audio mapping. And uh, Premiere Pro has a lot of great tools and very flexible ones to make that easy. Let's go have a look. So let's play this first for you. I've got a music track in stereo on a stereo track and I've got a voiceover on a mono track. A motorcycle journey through the world's highest Himalayan mountains or the royal desert state of Rajasthan requires meticulous planning, painstaking organization and judicious preparations. Finding a reliable motorcycle, tools and spares, arranging inner line permits. So if you've been watching over on the right hand side, you've been seeing some, some meters moving over here and if I go and grab my track mixer or better yet you know why don't i just go over to the new audio workspace click on that and it brings um, all of my different mixers forward the track mixer being the one lugging all your stuff on the bike and searching for comfortable and you see over here on the right and value for money lodging are enough i have two tracks going out here in an eight channel output just to go back and make a new sequence and show you where these settings are. In the tracks, by default, Premiere Pro will always make a stereo track, but many people require a multi-channel master, especially if you're a broadcast. For this one, I've chosen eight. Even if you normally choose stereo, a good tip is to leave it on multi-channel and make it two. The reason you can do that, or the reason that's important is, I can go back and change that from two to 32 or anything in between after the fact. If when I make the sequence I choose stereo, I can't change it to multi-channel. Bit of a bitch there. Okay, so let me get out of there and show you that in this header area for the audio, if you right click, you can get to track output channel assignments, or if you click inside this area right here. So this is my uh, standard track which has my stereo audio audio on it. I'm going to click right here and you can see that I'm going out to eight uh, channel output. If I was just going out to stereo you would only see one but because I've got more choices I can now assign those channels or map that audio. So if I wanted to change audio or music rather uh, to seven and eight when I click OK and we go and look at our meters now to discourage an otherwise adventurous traveler you can see and judicious preparation the music is now going out to and you know what the one thing I will do here just because I don't want to have to keep uh, jumping all the way back over to that I will open up my meters and drag this out over here and I'm going to right click and choose monitor in uh, mono. Normally this is set to stereo, so you see eight channels for stereo. I'm going to choose mono. Finding a reliable motorcycle. Now we're not hearing seven and eight because, well, I'm recording this in stereo, but if you had an eight channel output interface and you were mapping that out to multiple uh, outputs, you would be able to hear that, but you can actually see the meter. So now the music is jumping out over there, seven and eight. The voiceover is on one or two. Well, what if I just wanted the voiceover on one and not two? Well, if we go look at our voiceover, so let's go back over to um, the mono channel. If I click inside here, you can see I don't have the option of just one. I'm one and two, but if I pan this hard left, tools and spares. There you go. So now I've changed this from a mix of these of the voiceover and the music both on stereo on one and two. I've split them up into multiple tracks. Pretty darn easy and you can change this at any time. All right, let me close those up and just I want to show you this giant eight channel uh, music channel. Let me just uh, go in here and unmute that. Cool. 
So, the, and you can see the meters right over here. So this is one channel adaptive or one track and it's eight channels in one clip. This is an adaptive track. If I wanted to, I could go in here and click and whoops, if I go to the right, there's my adaptive. What you might think is you can do the exact same thing here. You can't. This will not work for adaptive tracks. Adaptive tracks were created mainly for the BBC and they were for archiving purposes where you have 32 channels and you can output all of these extra channels because in five years time that music might not be licensed. So my suggestion if you want eight tracks and you want to map those then map them to eight individual channels over here. So it's like I have right there. So let me hold my option key and now let's play that. So you can see that I've got eight mono channels and I've got the music mapped to the default, which is one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Well, if I wanted this first one, which is on A5, so if I wanted A5 to be on one only, then I choose one and pan that over here. And the second one is one and two, panned over there. The third one, change that to three and four, pan that left, pan this one right, and make sure I'm turning off one and two. I think you get the picture here. So we're alternating each one of these. Uh, so that's five and six. This one is also five and six. And then the last two, pan left, pan right, seven and eight, and not one and two. Now you'll see all eight tracks uh, used, eight channels on the output. So lots of flexibility inside there and a great, very easy to understand matrix on that, uh, on that output and how to assign those. Don't get messed up with adaptive tracks. You're probably asking too much if you're playing with those and trying to map those all over the place. I've shown you how you can do it with you know, some typical types of scenarios with uh, voiceover and uh, music. Speaking of voiceover, I wanna send a shout out to Vahim Manshu, who uh, did the voiceover for me. And uh, if you wanna go to fiverr.com, you can hire him to do the voiceover. And uh, he did a fan freaking tastic job uh, for me uh, in a turnaround time. I think I had this in, in under uh, an hour and a half or two hours. And I, I've never met him before. I just went on fiverr.com, uh, sent out a request. Um, he speaks uh, 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 Hindi and also English. And I wanted uh, an Indian accent on there. so. Uh, pretty darn good job, so go out and, and, and check out his stuff. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to go get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.